Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of AV Minute Espresso series. Today we are going to be having a look at a very important example of an image which is put up to us in the exams and this is of a cell which is given the name of schistocyte. When you are talking about a schistocyte, it's an example of a fragmented cell. You see what happens is that when there is formation of microthrombi in the blood vessels, then the RBCs passing through these microthrombi are going to get physically damaged. As a result of which you are going to be having cells which are having a physical damage and they are going to be having a very peculiar kind of an appearance which is associated with the term schistocyte formation. So I can tell you that when you have a patient who is going to be having a schistocyte, he is definitely going to be having the presence of some cause of hemolytic anemia. Now three important causes of schistocytes can be asked in the exams and these are extremely important for you to have an idea that would include conditions like hemolytic uremic syndrome or HUS, thrombotic thrombocytopenic perfura and disseminated intravascular coagulation. If you wish to ace the exams, you must know some of the uncommon conditions as well, which may be having the presence of a schistocyte and that would include a condition like the HELP syndrome, hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes and low platelet syndrome. We need to be familiar with association of schistocytes with SLE as well as in a patient who has undergone a cardiac valve replacement surgery, that means the presence of a prosthetic valve. Now what you just need to answer for me is a simple question. If the question in the exam talks about the presence of a condition in which you are having a peripheral smear which shows you the presence of schistocytes but also makes a mention that the patient is having elevated values of fibrin degradation products. What's the first condition that shall come to your mind? Quickly type your answers in the chat box below. See you soon.